rummage sale find. Yokohamas. Okay. So, welcome back to my channel, everybody. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you with me today when I cook dinner. So, we're having country fried steak. And, um, there's our meat. It's cube steak. It's what we, what we use. Cube steak. Let me get something to put you up on. This coffee mug. <laughs> we're back. So we're going to go ahead and make country fried steak, gravy, mashed potatoes for dinner. That's what we're going to have today. If I can set you up in this, you might have to look for something else. That's not going to hold you. Is this going to hold you? What's the matter with you? So we're going to make country fried steak and gravy. And we're going to use cube steak. All-purpose flour. Assortment of spices. And one egg. Take it over here and find a pan. We're going to use this big pan right here. Oh, knock stuff over. We're going to use this big pan right here. We're going to preheat it. Preheat it. Put some grease in it. Let me go turn on the light. Can I get in my pajamas? Why are you what? You gotta take a bath tonight. Well, your pajamas are laying on your bed. Okay. Come on. 
didn't you didn't get that dress dirty, did you? No. So we're going to crack this egg. Throw that in trash. Or the scrub that. And put some water in it. We're going to put some flour in this. We're going to pick out some spices. We're going to put some onion powder. garlic powder, some seasoning salt, that's just what we like, you can put whatever you want, whatever spices you guys use, and some paprika. And some pepper. Some pepper in this too. Put some pepper on your steak. Put some pepper on the steak. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna mix this all up. Mix it up. I got my stuff all lined out. Now, take the meat, put it in the egg mixture, and put it in the flour. Coat that meat with that flour and season. And just do that with the next piece. Put it in the egg mixture. Put it in flour and coat it. Have it look. Both sides are coated. Do it with the next piece. And continue until you get all the pieces coated. Okay, I have all my cube steak ready to go. And the grease is hot enough. Just make sure your pan is well coated. Now you want to take the meat and drop it in there. Hot grease and you want to hear it sizzle that way you know it's hot enough now you don't want to overcrowd this because you want them to fry up crispy because you're gonna be making gravy to go with this and I have a, a secret ingredient for that gravy and this is what it looks like in the pan. Can you hear that sizzle? 
So you want to cook this until on that side is golden, golden brown, and then you want to flip it and continue cooking it on the other side until then. We'll get right back with you with that. Let's see how it looks. Oh, looks like it's ready to be turned over. Turn this down a little bit. Yeah, I should have had that already turned down. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> That's why bacon grease use that, that coconut oil. Say hi. I don't know why it's so hot. I wish I knew too. It's hot. I haven't ran the dryer at all today. I feel like it's hot down here too. Maybe So this meat's done. Done. A little done. But that's alright because they'll eat it anyways. We cook this for a few minutes on that other side. Because we're going to put this last piece of meat on here. Let it cry. Put this in the sink and rinse it off. I'm cleaning grapes. Don't mind that mess. That mess has always been there. Let me pick up my thing I dropped over here. About it. That's my uh, cast iron skillet collection. I used to use them all the time. I don't use them anymore. I just use these big old pans and dump pans. Took the pancake in just a little bit ago. And these. That one sticks still. It's cast iron. But I got that from my niece used to work there. I think she might still work there. But my sister would send them to me. I have a couple big pans like that. I got another one right here. Big old Dutch oven. in there. We're going to add some instant mashed potatoes. Just because I'm extra like that. And there's the magic ingredient. Cream of mushroom soup. That, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. 